known for taking any money from anybody. Okay. Um, this is like my third day here. Oh. You know, um, well, so how? I guess how familiar are you with with like how you guys operate? Um, like I said, this is my third day here, so there's a lot of things that are actually obvious. So. Okay. So if you Google like card member services and then some information about your company, you'll you'll see all the Better Business Bureau ripoff reports and all the FCC FCC, FCC violations that they've they've had, right? Is that the name of the company? Card member services? Yeah, I don't know what the name is because they operate under a robot dialer and they change their name, change their states. So I I guess what company are you technically employed by then? You uh, don't know the name of the company you're employed by? Um, actually, no, sir. It's a stated. I realize the company that I work for is a scam. So, you know, no, I don't really need to know the name of the company I work for. Oh, yeah, my payday, my payday. Okay, so, oh, this is perfect. So, I guess this is perfect. You're the first person that actually admits that it's a scam. So, how do you get the job, I guess, is my question. How do I get the job? Yeah, like how did you end up doing this? No, I, I understand that that's the job. I'm wondering how you got hooked up to where that is your job. Like, did you find it out in the paper? Or did they post on Craigslist? Just actually on Craigslist, and just basically out of desperation. Oh no, I don't blame you for getting the job. I'm not. I'm not upset with you. I. It, it's my. I'm angry at the company because I'll receive four to five calls from you guys a day from your robot dialer, and there's no way to get removed from the system. I've done my fair share of research, so I know I know the background of of the company. Are you out of Florida, or are you out of a different out of a different state? In Florida. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, I know my fair share about the company. Uh, I guess my question is is just how to locate you know those that are behind it, not necessarily the people that are answering the. Sure. Well, I won't. I mean, the government will. They've done some in the past. But I guess my, yeah. my question is, doesn't that get to you? Doesn't that bother you that your whole goal is to steal money from old people and, and you know, unsuspecting people? No, it doesn't people? bother me because that, no, it doesn't bother me because I'm not the owner of the two companies. Oh my and, gosh, um, she does it. She's like, whatever, I'm taking all your fucking money. I'm going to be here for three days, and Friday is my last day. I'm moving on to bigger and better things, sir, because I'm way better than you. Well, I, I agree. You sound like you're better than this, and I hope you get out of it, and, and I, I think oh, yeah. that you are to blame, because I don't, I don't think you can shed blame just because you're not an owner. I mean, the Nazis killed a lot of Jews, and they're to blame. You can't just blame oh, Hitler. <laughs> just because you operate under the guise of your, your bosses doesn't mean that you can just, you know, you scam people, take old people's money, and shed all responsibility. <laughs> Whatever, why I want to get. Friday is my last day. Okay, well, I, I, I hope that you find the owners and burn their houses down and kill them all and remove me from the. <laughs> That's what I truly hope. Alright, sir. Okay, have a good day and go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's the first time they've ever admitted to me that it's a scam. Every other time they call me a faggot. Oh, that felt good. I've never I'm admitted it. Over here. <laughs> I so recorded that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That, great. that was fucking that. epic. That was epic. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Every time, they never admit it. And they always just.